Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the Dog Father. So, some of you already know about my Lone Star Grill 60 by 30 Santa Maria grill that I've recently gotten that I've started to do some cooks on. If you're not familiar with that uh, that grill, then make sure you click on that link right up there and go check out one of the cooks that I did on this grill. So, what I decided to do today, I'm gonna show you guys just how easy it is to clean this grill up. All right, you with it? Let's get it. All right, so as I said, I did a cook on this thing yesterday, and uh, right here, I've got my cast iron griddle from my Gabby's Grills from my 22 inch kettle. I used that to put coals on as I use my Dutch oven to make some uh, apple cobbler. So that's what we've got here, and uh, what I've got over here is uh, my ash from a cook that I did yesterday where I did some uh, pork chops. And trust me guys, if you're not subscribed, you better hit that uh, subscribe button and turn on the notifications so that you can check out the videos as I upload them because that was an awesome cook. But anyway, this is all the, you know, the residue and ash and everything that's left from behind it. So I'm gonna get this thing cleaned up and I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to do. All I'm doing here is just brushing the ash to knock it through all the grates here all the way down. The bigger pieces I'll just move over to the side. Alright, so now that I got that situated, what I'm going to do is remove the rack, put it over here, move my next rack, and guys this is the hood here that protects the uh, ash collection system so we're just going to pull it off, and brush it down, and I got that set to the side. And all I'm doing is just taking a broom, guys, and I'm gonna sweep everything to the uh, to the ash collection. Okay, then I'm gonna slide these racks over. And then we'll sweep the other side. Then what I do is I use a scraper for anything that may be stuck on. We'll give it another uh, sweep. And then we'll just give it another good spray. Then we'll get our racks put back over to the other side.
and we'll finish spraying the side. Then we'll reinstall our hood. Give it a spray. And then we'll put all our racks back in place. Give all of our racks a spray. So we'll let our cooking rack down now. We'll give another spray to our uh, cooking racks. And guys, the only thing left to do is to empty out our ash collection system, so that's it. Dump it in the trash. It's emptied out. We just pop it back in place. So just like that, it's clean and it's ready for the next use. That literally took me maybe 10 minutes. Uh, it's a very easy cleanup with this grill, and the grill works phenomenally. So, if you haven't checked out Lone Star Grills, I'll put a link down below. Go check it out. Also, I have a link to one of my videos where you can see this grill in action. And, uh, guys, hey, as always, thanks for checking out the channel. Again, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Give me that thumbs up if you like this video or if it was good information for you. And share it to anybody you can, alright? So, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.